Which programming language is fastest? I don't know, but today we're doing JavaScript and we're not comparing programming languages, we're comparing machines. So we got the Intel Core i9, 12th generation, brand new XPS 15. It's got a nice little processor in there versus MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip. And what are we doing today? Well, Benchmarks Game is a website that I often use for comparing different languages and performance on machines. And the algorithm I like to use is Mandelbrot. Why do I like to use that algorithm? Well, if you take a look at the CPU loads for all these different languages, it basically maxes out all the cores. Pretty intense. Here we've got Node.js, which is actually written in JavaScript. Now it does use some Node APIs, and you might think, well, JavaScript is single threaded. How is this test going to max out all the cores? Well, by using Node and by using multiple worker threads. That's how it does it. So I've copied the code exactly as it is, and I'm going to pop it open right here in PowerShell, and we're gonna execute it next to the same exact code running on the M1 Max. Let's uh, make sure I have the same version of Node here. Node 16 and 16.15 over there. It's not that big a difference, they're both 16. You know what, I'm just gonna say NVM install 16.15.1, just so they're both exactly the same. And if you don't know what I'm doing here, I'm using NVM, which is Node Version Manager, to manage my versions of Node. It's very easy to use. And now I'm on 16.5.1, just as I was finishing that sentence. If you don't know how to use NVM, I got a video on that, check it out. Now they're both on 16. Dot 15.1 dot to execute the test. I basically issue the command node, then pass in that JavaScript file with a parameter, and I'm going to use the recommended parameter in that on the website, which is 16,000. And uh, this program spits out a bunch of junk to the console. I'm going to spit that out to dev null instead so we don't see it. And I'm going to add the time command at the beginning of that line so that we get a time reading for the entire operation. Now in Windows, we don't have the time command, so we have to use measure command for that, which is a commandlet in PowerShell. The syntax is a little bit different. We give it the squiggly brackets, and then we give it the command we want to execute, which is node with the index file passing in that parameter. We don't need to send the output anywhere in this case because measure command will swallow it up anyway. And here's a little friend, this Schwarzenegger. Yep, that's a little friend. He's back. He's gonna help us press the enter key at the same time. And let's go. Ho ho. Okay, that was way too fast. I guess that parameter is just not enough to really get this test going. So what I'm gonna do is increase it to 50,000 instead of 16,000. 50,000 there, 50,000 there. And boom, so we have our results and wow, impressive. The MacBook Pro M1 Max executed that in 12.9 seconds, but the same test executed in just 7.6 seconds on the Core i9. That is much faster, wow. And we're using PowerShell, we're not even in Linux. And I know some of you are gonna talk about Linux and how much faster it is, so let's take that theory to the test, shall we? Remember the number 7.6? I'm gonna pop open a new tab called Ubuntu because this is Windows subsystem for Linux version two. I have it installed here. So I'm gonna head over to that folder where I have the code. And here I can use the time command because it is Linux. And I'm gonna do the same thing, 50,000. We're gonna pipe that to dev null. And I might as well run it on the Mac as well at the same time, let's go. Wow, okay, so 12.9 seconds on the Mac, about the same. 6.8 seconds this time on the Core i9 machine using Linux. I know some of you are still not gonna be satisfied with that. And if we can do better than that on this hardware, then why not try, right? After all, there are diehard Linux folks out there who believe that it's gonna be faster if you just remove Windows out of the equation altogether. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna restart that machine. Now I'm on Linux on bare metal because I have a dual boot system here. Let's see if this will do any better. Time node index 50,000 and pipe that out to dev null. Schwarzenegger, do your work. Boom. <laughs> All right, we got 13 seconds and eh, 12.9, 13 on the M1 Max, about the same. This one is 6.1. Let's do it again just for kicks. Got 6.8, 6.1, it's too close. 6.2 now, so it is slowing down, and we're gonna do this one more time, 6.4. It is a little bit faster than WSL on Windows, but is it significantly faster? Not really. It is, however, significantly faster on the Core i9, 12th generation, versus the M1 Max. And in case you are wondering, yes, I am running Node 16, which is, by default, an Apple Silicon-based 
node. So it is not doing any kind of translation there. It is running natively. Sorry to disappoint all those Apple Silicon fans. This particular test, the node test comes back much faster on the Core i9 machine, much, much faster. All right, if you like this video, if you found it useful or entertaining or educational, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. I'll see you next time.